Do you want to set your Stream Deck up to work with Microsoft Teams using the new Microsoft Teams plugin from Elgato and Microsoft? I'm the Productivity Coach and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Redout, the Productivity Coach, and I work at Microsoft as part of our global modern work customer success team. And today I want to show you how you can set your Elgato Stream Deck up to work with Microsoft Teams. There's been an announcement about a brand new native plugin that goes right into Elgato. Now, if you're like me and you've got a Stream Deck, you probably had it set up previously before to use those uh, keyboard shortcuts and things like this but it wasn't really quite seamless. Um, there were some things that were harder to set up and if you weren't focused on Microsoft Teams, then uh, it didn't always work. So let me show you how you can set this up using the brand new uh, Microsoft Teams plugin that's available for your Stream Deck. So here I am here. So I've got the Stream Deck software open. Now I assume that you already know what you're doing here and I've made some space. So I've got a button here which opens up Microsoft Teams but uh, and a few other things but i've got these spaces here and i want to fill them with all of our lovely microsoft teams buttons so i'm going to go to the stream deck store here and i'm going to go to plugins and i'm going to look for teams so you want to find this one here called microsoft teams by microsoft so don't look for other ones i can see here this mute deck or no, anything like this it's microsoft teams by microsoft and then i click install to install that plugin into my stream deck so it should take no time at all. Uh, and there we go. So now on the right hand side, when we scroll here, you can see I've got all of the other things, but I've got a new section here with Microsoft Teams. So if I dragged in a button that said camera, uh, you can see it's got a little lock on there and I need to add an API token. So this is a token which comes from Microsoft Teams itself. Now the API section is rolling out, so you might not have it just yet, um, but if you open up Teams and you hit the ellipses up here and go to Settings, and then you go to Privacy, down the bottom here, there is a third-party API section. So hit Manage API, okay, and then you Enable API, okay, and then you've got your token. Now, mine's kind of gone over onto another line. It might be something that they're going to fix. Um, so make sure that you're copying all of this, uh, and then you're going to copy that. And I'm going to regenerate that, so don't worry about the fact that you've seen that. Um, so if your API key gets lost, you can regenerate that using the same way. So then I go back to my Stream Deck here, and then I paste in that API token. And you should see that it changes into an icon that represents the function. So this is a camera icon here, um, so it's changed to that. So I'm going to just arrange this to work for me. You can do it however you want. So I'm going to pull in camera and mute down the bottom there, so it's really easy for me to get to. I'm do background blur just above it um, and then just at the top I'm going to put my leave button and I'm going to also put my record button at the top so a little bit further away um, not using ones and then this area here I'm going to save for all of my reactions and raising hand and things like this so again I'm going to bring raise hand there and like so those are the ones that I use most commonly uh, and then just above those, let's bring in the applause and the laugh. And then up the top, we're going to bring in love and wow. And, and that is it. That's literally all you need to do to set this up. Um, now, all we need to do is test that to see how it works. OK, so what I'm going to do, let me just close that down. And if I go to Microsoft Teams here, I'm just going to start up. Um, a meeting just with myself. So I'm going to go here and do meet now and start meeting. Now for full transparency, this is pre-recorded because I can't talk and do stuff on camera at the same time. So here I've started my meeting. Can you see here that on the stream deck, the buttons have kind of come to life. They've gone all colorful. So we can do things like hit the mute button and you can see that's affected the mute on my meeting here. Um, we could also do things like turn on the camera oh look who's that handsome chap there so we do that again if we wanted the background blur i can use that background blur button or oh, put my thumbs up i could actually use the thumbs up button here on stream deck um or i could give a round of applause do a horrible little laugh do my wow face do my heart or if i want to put a hand up i can put my hand up button here 
and then so you can see that it's put the yellow box around me but if i look in the people section i can see that i've got my hand up there uh, i can also use that hand up button to to lower my hand as well so i hit the record button and you can see that recording has started and then when uh, i'm done i can just hit the leave button and it's gone so really really tightly integrated in there but what about if uh, we don't have the microsoft teams window as the focus so what I'm going to do is just going to start another meeting again. Okay, and this time, okay, close that. And this time I'm going to bring in a different window here. So I'm going to bring in this browser window here. So now this has got the focus. Here you go, I've scrolled on all of this. But still, if I hit my mute button, you can see the meeting just behind it, that it goes on mute. If I hit my camera, I can turn my camera on and off. Um, and I can hang up even if my meeting doesn't have focus. So there you have it. It's super easy to set up. That literally only took uh, two or three minutes to set up. If that, uh, it's completely freely available. Obviously, you have to have the Stream Deck device itself, but the plugin and all of the other stuff there um, is freely available. Uh, the change for that API is rolling out right now. So if you don't see it today, keep on checking back um, to see if it comes when your Teams client updates, which uh, might take a few days as it rolls out. So there you go. That's everything from me. Uh, if you've got your Stream Deck, hopefully you'll love using it with Microsoft Teams, and I'll see you again on another video.